Hi everyone, so I'm going to do one of those 10 minute getting ready makeup videos. Um, I watch all of them on the Vogue YouTube channel and I just find them really funny and yeah, just quite interesting watching celebrities and how they do their makeup and what they use. I'm gonna do like a no makeup look today, no makeup makeup look, uh, which is basically the only makeup look I do. First things first, really quickly, um, I don't know if anyone else does this. I'm actually wearing my dressing gown, but what I do is I roll it down past my bra so that I don't get any makeup on anything. Um, so yeah, I've also got a shiny chest because I've got Vicks on my chest because I've got hay fever and my nose is uh, bunged up. Uh, so yeah, okay, let's get going. I don't really wanna press this timer because I know I'm gonna go over 10 minutes. So first of all, when I'm wearing makeup, I, I think it's all about skincare. I use these two things that I've talked about before. Well talked about this before so this is cordley essence literally like the littlest blob press that into my face oh smells so good feels really really good as well wait for that to kind of absorb and then i put the ordinary niacinamide on this is really important for me when i'm wearing makeup because it helps my skin stay shine free this also feels really really good the good thing about this uh, niacinamide is that it it dries, well not dries, but like absorbs really quickly. Caffeine eye serum from The Ordinary. Again, like the tiniest, tiniest amount, literally like two drops. Ring fingers, always ring fingers for eye cream. I like this because it just kind of makes your eyes wake up a bit tiny tiny blob of natural moisturizing factors when i say tiny i mean like that much i do pretty much everything with my hands when i'm putting makeup on put a bit more on my neck cool good to go so when i'm not wearing like heavy foundation i use this oh come on pixie skin tint as you can see i've got to that stage where i'm cutting open the bottle but you can see how much product is left in it. It usually comes in like a pump thing, but I've uh, dismantled it. So what I do is use about, handy having waxing spatulas, use about that amount. I absolutely adore this stuff, it is brilliant. So what I do is kind of put it on like moisturizer. Uh, it's oil free, it's really good for oily skin. It doesn't really smell of anything, but it feels really, really nice. And it's it kind of just evens things out and makes your skin glow. I've got the shade. I need a little bit more. It's really good for that like red bit that you get around your nose. I like it because it makes my skin look good, but doesn't make it look like I'm wearing loads. I think this is 26 pounds from Pixie and it actually lasts a really long time. If you've got very dry skin, you would definitely need to use a lot of moisturizer after this, because it is, before this, sorry, because it is super, super light. I like it because you still see your freckles underneath. Oh my God, six minutes. This is hard. That is better. And I always have like a cheapy, crappy, makeup wipe to hand to rub my hands with. I've been using this concealer by EX1 and I really like it. It's a whole brand dedicated to yellow toned skin and the concealer is really, really good. I can't open the fucking thing, come on. It's a little pump thing. You literally need the tiniest, tiniest amount because it is really pigmented. So I'm using like that much and get a little brush. So I use concealer on any little spots that I've got, that little chin bit, again, that redness. I've got like a, almost like a broken blood vessel vein in my nostril that just really stands out. So I'm gonna put some there. Got a bit of acne scarring there, here. And only a little bit under the eyes because I don't know about you, but I kind of like a bit of the purple showing through. It gives, makes me, you know, look less flat. Also, I don't know if anyone else is, finds this, but with like yellowy base skin tones, I swear like instead of getting dark circles, you get like purple circles. And then I just use my fingers to blend it in. It's such a good concealer. I 
lovely. So like for work, sometimes I would just go like this and just like get my skin looking good and then um, put a bit of bronzer on. Pour pore cream. I put on, just to get my lips soft whilst I'm doing my eyes. This is from Sleek Makeup. It's actually completely run out and dried out, but I really like the brush on it. To do my brows, there's still a tiny little product left on it, which is good, because it kind of fills them in without looking too heavy. Oh, a little smudge there. Again, less is more with brows. I literally get them threaded or waxed maybe a few times a year and let them grow out. They're completely different shapes and sizes but eyebrows are sisters not twins so fluff them up a bit just to make them look a bit more done this is my favorite one this is like my good brow you can get a bit ocd with eyebrows can't you yeah cool that'll do highlighter i use this one from kiko it's a cream one which i really like and i literally just draw it on so i go like that above the brow bone. I've been using highlighter for a really long time. I've got like a really old one from Natural Collection that I got when I was about 14 and I loved what it did. And that was before highlighter became a thing. I love it on the Cupid's bow like that, end of the nose. Although sometimes I'm in town and I see like some girls with like heavy highlighter on the bridge of their nose. I'm like, what are you doing? You need to blend that shit in. I like this cream highlighter because you can make it look really natural, warm it up, it's cheap obviously from Kiko, but um, I find like with a lot of cream highlighters, they slide around the skin, this stays in place and also doesn't make my skin too oily. Nice and natural, ba -ba -bum. Okay, cool. I've got this uh, highlighting palette from Sleek, but I use it for everything and this is my like universal brush that I use for everything. I get a bit of the contouring powder. I just put it across my eyelids. These are the colours, by the way. Guess which one I use the most? <laughs> and I do a tiny bit here. Not really into contouring, but I do a little bit there. Little bit there. Then I use the like bronzy blush a bit here. So then I just go over all the way over with whatever's left on the brush. Nice. Lip liner. So I'm only a fan of lip liner because I use this one. It's by Model Zone and it's like a really, it doesn't look like it's nude, but it is. It's like that. Um, and I just do this just to give my lips a bit of colour. I don't overline my lips because I think it makes people look fucking ridiculous. As you can see, I do it mainly on the inside of the lip line. Uh, I've decided that if the alarm goes off, oh, which it has, it's okay. I mean, I would go out like this, it's fine. I'm gonna carry on though. And this will go from a 10 minute makeup look to just how I do my no makeup makeup look. See how that's made a difference. This is basically lip colored lip pencil. Do a little bit there. T -t -t. Cool. To be honest, I'm into like really cheap lip gloss at the moment. This one, you can see I've used it with pink lipstick by CYO. This is literally like the most basic, cheapest shit brand I could find in Boots, but you would, you would not believe how difficult it was to find just a clear lip gloss. And this wasn't, I didn't like it at first, and then the more I use it, um, the more product I can get out of it. So I just, I hurt that arm. I think matte lips were like such a big thing for so long. Now I'm just going back to like, you know, when you're like younger and your lips would be dripping with lip gloss. I'm kind of into that now. Cool, that's done. It's weird doing your makeup through a camera. 
And then, okay, so what have I done? Oh yeah. I need a little bit more on the eyelids. I literally have like one brush that does everything. One brush and my hands and that's all I need. Cool, that's way better. And then again, cheaper shit mascara. I don't know about you, but I prefer mascara when it's on its last legs, when it's really dried out. Um, when I've watched all of these Vogue videos, everybody was like, I can't live without my eyelash curlers. Um, I can, because when I curl my lashes, it just looks demented, like they go all the way back. I've got really curly, you can't really see it. I've got really curly lashes anyway, so I don't really need them. But what was really good is it, with the eyelash curlers, whoop, came this little spool, which I tidied my mascara up with. So. These videos are kind of hard to do because it's like, if I fuck up, I'm not going to take all my makeup off and start again. <laughs> Gotta move closer. I always do bottom lashes as well. I'm pulling really grim faces. Ow, I just put myself. That's better. That. and then I'll reapply if I need to. I definitely think less is more with makeup and you can make makeup look so much better if your skin's good. And so I spend more money on skincare than I do on makeup, to be honest. Um, I think that might be it. If I've really got a bit of extra time, what I'll do is this, my mum gave me this, it's like a Rimmel eye pencil in like a coppery colour and what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit under the lash line, like the tiniest bit. Just because I don't have very big eyes actually and I um, find that that brings them out a bit. That's better. Sometimes I do this on the top bit as well. And then last bit is, I've got this from NYX, this strobe, strobe queen, cream, queen. And then I just put a little bit there. A little bit on my nose. It's kind of like pearlescent and then I'll do a little bit in the eye. Fingers are the best. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's my no makeup makeup look. And then the final touches is this rose water spray that I got in LA. It's really nice, it was really cheap. And then I'm gonna pull a weird face doing this. Oh my God, has Alex used it all? Alex like literally uses all of my facial sprays. There we go. And then that just keeps me dewy and then I always do my makeup with my um, hair tied up because I've got so much hair. So, undo my hair. Um, I had like a self-sabotage moment yesterday after work. I got somebody to cut me in a fringe and I've got super curly hair so I don't know, don't know how it's going to work. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Very 70s. I'm kind of into bad haircuts at the moment, you know, when it looks like you've got a really bad haircut. So there we go, there is my no makeup makeup look. Mm. And my mental hair. Thanks for watching. Bye.